All right, back with you, Pirate Radio Live, here on a Monday. We're going to talk some Pirate baseball here with Pirate pitcher Danny Beal, Pirate catcher Ryan McChrystal, and ECU third baseman Parker Bird as the guys coming off a win, uh, winning series in the Keith LeClaire Classic, a two and two week. And uh, the guys are here inside the Pirate Radio studios. Gentlemen, good to see you. Good, good to be here. Good to be here. What's up? All right, let me get you on. Hey. Hey, Danny. Um, guys, how are we feeling after a two and one weekend in the Keith LeClaire Classic? Uh, a lot better if we didn't lose on Sunday, yeah. I guess. But yeah, you know, taking positives from it. Uh, yeah, no. Saturday was awesome. Saturday was a fun game to be a part of. That was a that was a special crowd, and then obviously a little little late night action. But no, it was it was cool. It was cool to see Deets too. Very yeah, nice to see Deets. Yeah, who I, I said in the press box, uh, and Danny, you worked under Jason Dietrich here. Even when he was here, and then when I talked to him, like never really felt like an East Carolina guy. No. Like he, it's very West Coast. He is a California guy. Like he fit in that Fullerton uniform way better, I thought, <laughs> than he did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was nice because I remember we always made fun of him for like the slow walk out to the mountain oh, yeah. every visit, and it was like I had many of those, and then conversations never seemed to be never seemed to be good. It's always something bad I did. Well, I think. It's more on you than it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of which, Danny, can you, can you get a guy out, man? I mean, <laughs> I'll let you know. Uh, probably not. Not looking great, but I'll let you know. Great uh, year last year. Bit of a subpar start this season. No kidding. <laughs> um, and everybody like, wow, what's different? Like, do you feel any different? Like, just one of those things. Like, what? No, I mean, I, yeah. I, I'm. I need to be better, and I've I've talked to I've talked to the people that I need to talk to about it, and <laughs> promise them that I, I'll, I'll figure it out. But I just need to execute pitches better and not put gain or not put at bats in, in the wrong hands, and just I, I just need to be better, and that's the bottom line. And um, Shank was phenomenal on Saturday, right. and you know going into Sunday with a relatively a fresh bullpen, only using four pitches the last two days, were was great and. Bullpen will figure it out, but the starting pitching's been phenomenal, and we'll we'll get it rolling. Yeah, and I mean, you come into games as, as a reliever in some pretty b- tough spots. It'd be like you know McChrystal and Bird going into a game down 0-2 or mm-hmm. down one two. With, with yeah. ga- you know, you got guys on the bases, but that's kind of what you signed up for. So yeah. there's not an excuse with it. But I don't know. Does that factor into it at all? No. I mean, I embrace that stuff. That's that was, yeah. those are the moments last year where I felt like I pitched the best was when it was you know the game was on the line or there were people on base, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just have I just haven't haven't executed, haven't done really a good job yet. But um, no, it's early. It's March. We'll be all right. This is March, uh, and a couple more opportunities this midweek, and then on the road at Liberty. Uh, Ryan got to see you in action on Saturday. Got to see a lot of catchers in action in that long game on yeah. Saturday. And I, I was thinking about this, like just you being healthy means Wilcoxon can afford a day off, which means the next day he can come out and hit two home runs. I don't yeah. know if that's coincidence yeah, no, or I mean, not. I, but I, They're not all my stats, but I feel like it might as well be. No. <laughs> no. But yeah, it's awesome. But it helps, right? Yeah, no doubt. And it definitely helps like how we can plan for a game. Just like on Saturday, I had a good day Friday like, when I DH and then just didn't see the ball well against that lefty on Saturday and looked like a full one. I know, I know of one swing that's stuck in my mind, but yeah, just the way it goes sometimes. But like being able to pinch hit in the seventh inning after Seawall's uh, game tying single is huge because you can trust J Dub to put him in, and it's there's no fall off defensively whether I'm going in after J Dub or whether J Dub's going in after me, and the pitchers trust us both. So it's huge to be able to do that because it kind of just changes our game plan in general. You can go more matchup base, and you can still have your pitchers trust who's behind the plate. So it's definitely very very awesome. Parker, uh, I got to see your first at bat this season, and now we've got guys like uh, Colby Wallace and and other heroes that are that are kind of making their presence known for the first time here. It's been pretty cool to see uh, the old faces that we certainly recognize, but a lot of new flavor to this Pirate team. Yeah, I mean it's cool. Um, I've seen Colby Wallace play since he was ten years old. I mean the kid's raked since he was ten. So um, I have a lot of trust in that guy, and I've had a lot of trust in a lot of the freshmen. Honestly, I mean I, it's it's cool to see people like Walker Barron. Get getting opportunities because uh, I think everybody on the team knows that guy can rake and uh, that dude will provide for us uh, throughout the season. And I think you're going to see a lot more opportunities like that where uh, guys that you may have not seen in the lineup uh, starting, but uh, they're going to come off the bench. And, I mean, 
we'll get Chaz Myers rolling, and I mean he's going to be a big bat for us down the stretch, and um, just cool to see some guys like that and get opportunities, and uh, the ball, balls will fall for him soon. And uh, it was great. You never know who the hero will be. Nathan Chrisman comes up, bases juice the other night. Now you guys have played enough and been around enough to know a ball off the bat and, and what it's going to do. Did anybody else think it was a, a walk-off grand slam coming? Like, or did y'all know it was a, a fly ball to left? Not once in my head did I think that ball's gone. There's no offense to Nate, but no. I know. Yeah. I've seen him hit, a ball, hit the ball enough yeah. to where, A, I was more so excited that I knew it was going to the outfield and that deep, yep. and then B, I've never really seen Nate hit that many balls to left, <laughs> so it didn't really come across my mind as a possibility, but that would have been awesome, yeah. and nobody deserves it more than Christmas, so yeah. that was awesome to see that. But Grand Slam would have been Man. some serious ice. <laughs> but like you said, he did the job. You knew it right oh, off yeah. the bat that that was uh, that was ball game as Mr. long as Mr. Execution. Oh yeah, yeah that guy done. does. He was talking about doing everything the right way. That yeah. guy, Swiss Army coach, knife. Co- coach, almost Swiss Army knife in the yeah. huddle after, which is a great way to describe him. Pretty good spot to be in too. Like that pitcher had to to give him one, or yeah, he would have walked in the three zero, wasn't it? Well, it, got, it was 3 0, got to 3 yeah, 2. Then he walked it to 3 2, yeah. Yep, yep. <clears throat> he had three at bats that day, and they all went 3 1. And then the pitcher threw a strike, and it was 3 2 in all three of them. Qua- all quabs, I guess. Yeah. Was that a yeah. quab? Uh, we were pulling for a walk off pitch clock violation could you imagine and it was 3-0 and the pitcher like actually, bent down grabbed some dirt and we were like all right could eight, you imagine seven <laughs> six i got to got the ball three. Three. <laughs> and uh we were really rooting for that one but uh and hey that pitcher showed some onions just throwing a strike on 3-0 there Did anyone else see by the way saturday the umpire tried to call me for a pitch pitch clock violation? yes yeah and it had been like four seconds <laughs> and, and like i'm not quick getting in the box but i'm by no means slow and like I looked at him because I was catching, and I forget what the guy's name was in this instance. But we have an umpire named Jimmy. I'll use him as an example. I was like, Jimmy, that was there's no way that was ten seconds. So I was like, that's like five seconds. He goes, clock hit ten. I was like, I'm telling you, that was not ten <laughs> seconds. Like I promise. And then they told him that the clock never reset. Yeah. Third like, base um came in. This is like, a fantastic waste of time. My sure. bad. Yeah. Um, by the way, this doesn't affect any of you, but the uh, pitch clock. So the third base umpire. I guess resets it after every pitch. Um, every time he hits the button to reset it, it beeps in the press box. So when oh, something's that's happening so annoying. and he's got to extend when it starts or whatever, it just goes beep, 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 beep. Oh, and we, we got to get that fixed. I know that uh, doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, anymore. Let's go to the top of the list. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's annoying. Uh, Brandon Manning says, call me and I will say what Danny can't say about the behind the plate calls no, on Sunday. No, no, Brandon, no. It is not the umpire's fault. I shouldn't have been putting myself in that position to begin with. It doesn't matter. I need to be better and it wouldn't matter about the umpire. There you Wasn't go. umpire known? Did he have a big zone? I don't know. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a picture of Riley floating around where the ball's outside oh, the white yeah. line. It's a strike. Sure. I, I which you would think would help pitching, but Danny, I don't know. I don't. Behind that one guy. That's yeah, that was tough that's one for the Jacob first. Steel. The first I, was, I went to get a I went to get a coffee with AK today at Starbucks, and I, I was like, that is the first time I've ever thrown a slider behind a right-handed hitter, and I'm like, that's that's about as embarrassing as it gets. <laughs> Uh, it's baseball, and uh, Pirates will have a game coming up. Move to six o'clock on Tuesday. Do you guys have a preference? These Sunday games are pretty early. These midweek games and Friday Saturday games can be later in the day. Do you have a preference on when you play? I love like evening games. Like for me, Dude. like uh, awesome. five thirty, six o'clock start time yeah. for me is just beautiful. I like the prime of the season is when we. It's like mid April, mid May, around there. Game starts at six. The <laughs> game starts at six, but the sun is setting like right in the sixth inning. So That's my favorite. So yeah. you start the game in the day, middle of the game. There's a great sunset, and then by the time the game's over, it's night. And the and with the light show now, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, yeah. you all like the light the show. It, yeah, yeah. The only thing yeah. that sucks about that is the yeah, sun first base. Yeah, that sucks. It, it, like, it's in my, when I'm catching, like I have, I have the one piece mask, so like Jado can like turn his helmet around, like his little skull cap or whatever around, but I don't have that. And so was, I can't wear it like a hat. So like in the fifth inning, Rude threw a chain out of the middle. The kid swung at it and it like hit off my glove and just fell right in front. Didn't mean anything. But like I didn't see the ball the whole time. Like <laughs> not one time did I see the baseball. Like I was scared for my life. Yeah. I'm like in the mask, like sun's to my left, doing this little duck move. 
just trying to see the baseball, which is a bit uncomfortable, <laughs> but it's adversity. We pushed through it. Yeah, I was going to say, I, because my vantage point is different than, than yours behind the plate or even a batter when it comes to the shadows and the sun, but my favorite, one of my favorite sports days of the year is that Saturday in a regional where it's usually one and two, <sighs> and that game awesome. starts with the sun out, and like Danny said, it, it goes down as the game goes on. I, it's I just, like the Rose Bowl. It reminds me of the Rose yeah, Bowl. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. day, yeah. beautiful sunset, ends at night, always yeah. perfect. Parker, you got a preference on when you play? Uh, I like the evening games. I like playing under the lights. And then now, definitely with the light show, it's uh, going to be pretty cool. That was uh, yeah. awesome. I thought The Undertaker was coming out for a second because he went all black. <laughs> yeah, I had on sunglasses, like upside down. Like I had your oh, yeah, yeah, sunglasses yeah. on upside down when we ran out and it went black. Like, Whoa. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just grabbing people home. around me to try not to get run over. <laughs> Uh, Pike is asking if the players saw the situation with Hawaii getting thrown out for celebrating after being uh, walked. Yeah, I did see that. What was the? I didn't see that. Uh, what happened? What did he do? He's like he did, yelled at his dugout. Yeah, Let's go or something, I'm pretty yeah sure. just like yesterday when we got a warning. Yeah, kind of, yeah, that was unreal. That was crazy. Carter literally. I don't know if he spiked his bat. I know he obviously was excited and probably pimped it a little bit, but turned to our dugout. And then they said that there was something like don't celebrate on the field anymore, or like just only entice our dugout. I'm like. He didn't even do anything. He was just celebrating. Well, he, and he yeah. did only entice our dugout. It was like, what people, people don't see too is like Carter brought us all up before that half inning and was like, guys, this is nowhere close to over. But like, we have to make the decision and now. And he hits like, a jack and he's pumped. I like up. That. hits a jack. Carter hits a jack. And it's like, it's coming to fruition. He's pumped. We're pumped. Let's keep it going. Yeah. And, and, that, and all of a sudden, Mr. Umpire had to make sure we knew he was there. Yeah. But and he was. Yeah, that's lame. Uh, especially like when it's a team celebration. Like if it's a pitcher, like grabbing his junk, looking at the dugout or something, that'd be a little yeah, different. Uh, the other teams, but like, I don't know, man. Produced pitcher. AK was mad at that. Oh yeah, what he did he do? Produced starter kept looking in our dugout. Like every time he got somebody out, like, for the first yeah. two innings. Yeah, which was sick. How I, I vividly remember. It's funny that you bring that up. I remember we, when I was a freshman, Sailor was pitching against Memphis at home, and that was those were the four game series. This was like the oh yeah, like the second. So I guess the second day it was the second game. It was a doubleheader, and we had like no bullpen arms. He went like six shutout innings, but he I remember vividly struck a dude out walking off the field, and the the hitter that was walking back to the dugout looking at him, and Sailor had some choice words like some expletives, and the umpire just went. Cool. And just turn the other way just, <laughs> and he just kept walking. <laughs> it's really cool. I like that. That's awesome, yeah. Uh, I was going to mention, Ryan, that um, I was going to compliment you on the seeds you throw uh, between every getting ready for every inning from behind the plate. Johnny Stat says, Ryan is the only catcher to throw out Vance Honeycutt during a steal attempt this season. The stat to cool. consider. Not sure how many steal attempts he has this year, but... Definitely not an easy guy to throw out. That was a fun one, for sure. It says no other opponent has even tried to steal a base when you were behind the plate. Is that true? I have no I If sound, he says sound, it's true. Sounds right. I mean, yeah. I, I don't have the stats in front of me. I think you either. certainly haven't made a throw on it. Like, I think that's the only ball you've thrown to second in a Yeah, now I think about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they haven't really steal on us much at all. I don't know. I feel like our catching staff yeah, and pitching staff do a great job. Us, yeah. us all have hoses. That's why. Yeah, yeah. catching staff's good at throwing. We like throwing. So many things to concern yourself with when you are a catcher, and, and part of it is, you know, doing what your pitcher needs, but, you know, blocking a ball, but the throwing part, how much pride do you take in that? Uh, I take a lot of pride in that just because, like, more important for me, like in that Carolina game especially, like, I take a lot of pride, and I've always been pretty solid throwing it. But, like, Root was grooving. We were up 2-0. And, like, their guy gets on. they Two holes up. And it's like any the momentum might start to swing in their favor. And, like, I was able to make sure it stayed on our side. And I feel like once I threw him out, what I did was able to keep the momentum on our side the rest of the game almost. Like, I feel like they didn't really gain it until the 8th or ninth. Root shoved, did his thing. And I, I was happy to be able to keep Root shoving and back in the dugout quickly and offense back up there so that that's kind of more so where the throwing part of the game yeah gets to you can really kill momentum or gain momentum by doing something like that on that note i think it was the rider sunday game jake hunter he had a first inning where a lot of guys would get in trouble and not have the performance he had because he went walk and then J-Dub threw a guy out. Yep. He walked two guys in the first inning. Usually when that happens, it's a recipe for disaster. But J-Dub throwing that guy out allowed him to have a clean inning, and then he just yep. cruised from yeah, there. So yeah. that's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, one other thing I wanted to ask you, Ryan, uh, what is the story behind your brother? Because I announced everybody to the plate except you. Uh, yeah. Your brother does the PA call. So uh, that's pretty cool. What's yeah, that about? Yeah, that's pretty sick. I, uh, 
I did it my senior year of high school, um, and it's just pretty cool. He's like my biggest fan. He's he's a baseball super fan. Mm-hmm. Probably has more TV time than me. Like in this point, <laughs> I'm not, I don't. I have a good amount. He's on there a lot. He's got two chains on all the time. But it's just pretty cool. Like I don't know. I think I always try and find him in the stands, like before and at bat anyway, because it's just something that kind of calms me down, just yeah. knowing like no matter what happens, a like God has a plan for it, and b like Brandon's gonna be there smiling after the game no matter what. And so for me to be able to hear his voice when I go up there, it's kind of like a reminder of like this. Like it's only so important, yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Like a lot better. Know, it's just it's very cool for me, like being able to grow up with him and the perspective that I have on everything. But it's an easy reminder of the perspective for me. So that's I don't awesome. Know, first at bat I got this year was right after his first at bat. So like everyone was already kind of emotional, and then I heard that. <laughs> and like growing up an ECU baseball fan, and then growing up at, with Brandon, my brother, and everything, I was. Almost shed a tear then too. I was like, "Good lord, dude!" <laughs> back Emotions to back. We had, we had like some hardcore music going. Like, I don't know. Yeah, Get very d- cool though. D-Ray up and playing his music. Yeah. <laughs> and Cliff called Tom and chew you out or something. Get, yeah. Get, yeah. Uh, Anything. Focus up. Uh yeah. Bigger than baseball, Parker. Uh, you know a thing or two about that as oh, well. Yeah. And uh, yeah. how's uh, everything going for you so far this season? You, you had that first at bat. How's day to day for you? It's great. I mean, just improving every day, really, in practice. Uh, feeling like i'm moving a lot better um which is i mean that's the goal and uh just really taking it day by day and uh just taking every day as a prize and a treasure and uh just getting after it and i mean we look great at practice and i know that we're going to clean up the little bumps in the season but um i mean that's why the game the season's 56 games and uh so uh just ready to get it back out there and uh get after it with the boys so uh which by the way i told uh carter cunningham to tell his dad i enjoy interacting with him on twitter and carter (laughs) said his dad needs to get off to it yeah he's on it too much yeah Yeah, me and carter Uh, actually talk about it a good bit because uh chris he's pretty active on twitter but carter said he doesn't have twitter because he uh can't or i guess x now but yeah uh, he said he doesn't want to look at it because he he, he uh, gets embarrassed with it. So, um, well, he's a, he's a funny guy, but he posted some uh, Parker Bird defensive highlights today. Really? From, uh, I guess from warm ups or yeah. whatever. So well, uh, people can go see that. But this is awesome. Yeah, a yeah, uh, great yeah. guy and uh, part of the Pirate family. Um, we had let's see. William said, "I want to see more yelling out of Danny when he takes the mound. What do you want him to yell at?" <laughs> Uh, yeah. Are you a yeller? No, I mean, it, people people have always give, having a hard time with just coming to grips that I'm not like super emotional. Like I'm like not, a what? I'm not. Yeah, as just best I'm not like the shanks of like I'm gonna erupt and pump my fist and try to hype up the crowd every single time I get a strikeout or get out of an inning. I mean, <laughs> I didn't really do it a lot last year either. It was just a lot of just it's supposed to happen. Success, yeah, success. You don't want to force something. That no, you're I mean, not, I think it's so. good to show some emotion at the right time. But um, yeah, I just. I'll, I'll work on that for you. <laughs> uh, man, Wyatt and he had the like Terwilliger and those those dudes that just scream yeah. and Hulk smash it's or whatever. So cool. Uh, when Wyatt's coming off the mound the other night, getting out of those innings, that's that fires up the boys, right? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. play shake, not just from the crowd, but he's a big dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's awesome. We 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 don't make fun of him, but like we all like imitate what we yeah. think he's about it's to do. It's the same celebration we're, 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 every you and I the single he it, time. Right? It's the and he fist goes like fist up every and time. Then he, and then goes, back down <laughs> yeah. every single time he's been nails though he's unbelievable he's unreal what a performance on saturday uh jamie says guy uh when guys like carter and jc are hitting like they are does it become a friendly competition between teammates absolutely, um, absolutely. yeah it's the same thing with pitching too like root and trey and jake all try to one-up each other they have every been so far single outing it's been great <laughs> and uh and how about like jacob starling's gonna rake at some point this year danny you talked about you're gonna be a lot better than you've been like getting out of i don't even know if they're slumps but but just fine-tuning what you do day to day like how do you go about doing that you can speak to it as a pitcher ryan as, as a hitter like what's what's star going through right now what are these guys that want to be hitting better what are you doing to, to fix it um it, it really depends on the person but I think like you got to understand how long a season is and how right. hard baseball is. Like hitting a baseball, like I'm not sure that you I can really put into terms how hard hitting is at this level. And like the guys that do it really well, like it's it's hard to fathom like how they really do it as well as they do. And like Star, it, like he's not having any problems. Like he 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 went in today and he was like, oh, I'm just starting a little bit late. And it's like, well, now you just slow yourself down. It's like hmm. it's little it's things all the time. Fixes. Like yeah. and yesterday, I think honestly, it's a lot a lot to do with confidence. Like I think. 
the more you can carry yourself, like you're the best hitter on the planet, whether you are or not. Like, I think that's how you can be consistent on a daily basis. It's something that I've struggled with. And I've talked to Carter Cunningham a lot about it because he's been huge in me just being more confident even when I'm not playing every single day or I'm not doing the best for a stretch. It's like the more confident you are, the easier it's going to be able to, you're going to be able to flip the switch. And that's kind of what the biggest thing is. That's why we all know Star's going to be fine. I don't think he's having any problems at all. We all know Danny's going to be completely fine. So, like, other people might be freaking out, but I think that's why we're totally calm on the inside because sure. we understand what everyone's capable of. And J Dub showed that yesterday with two home runs and another hit after struggling a bit. I told him before the game to keep the same confidence because he's the best player on the field every time he steps on it. And yeah, he goes out and proves it. So it's really, really cool. I was going to ask you about that too. It's you, your guys' job to instill that confidence in your teammates, right? Like consistently. Yeah. That yeah. if they're not feeling it, you got to make sure you're the one saying, "Hey." You're the man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So. All right, uh, VCU, I know you guys kind of scout late, I guess. you know anything about the Rams going into uh, the game tomorrow? There's one kid that I played against when I was little, but other than that, no, it didn't really, oh, really? matter. What's scouting report? <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Any embarrassing stories <laughs> uh, uh, from, from that little kid? that you? No, I, no I, I don't even know him. I've just played against him. Yeah. No, I don't really go drop off. <laughs> Yeah. So, what do you guys get a sheet before the game or whatever? Is that how it uh, works? Essentially, for the catchers, I know they do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah but you just kind of have yeah, we, we uh we started this year. We started doing like little scouting reports that we go over before the game. Um, but as I was just about to say, it doesn't really matter. Like if we play our game and do what we're supposed to do, we're gonna we're gonna win more often than not. So. And coming up this weekend, first road series, uh, East Carolina right now, 0-3 on the road. Mm-hmm. You guys looking to change that? Is that coincidence sure. that you have not won a game on the road? Or? Uh, I think that, that has to come down to um, the other team scored more than us all three times that we have played on the road. Let me let me fact check that. Is that right? I'm pretty sure we're 0-3 and they score more on the That's road. what it is. Yep. Yeah. You know what the yep. issue is? We just have to hit it. Where they're not, not playing. playing, yeah. And here's the yeah. and Aaron. Aaron, stay, stay the Aaron Groller that. came into the dugout issue. Yep. And brought up a great point. If we just throw it, like as pitchers, throw the ball over the white square, and they don't hit the ball, and the umpire calls a strike, the Pirates probably win more. That's like true. it's, uh, I mean, but people, often, people, people don't talk about that enough. Far though. too often, I'm hitting and I hit it right where somebody is, and I'm like, I should have just well, yeah, well somewhere else. Yeah. Well, people tell us that all the time, especially on Twitter. You're 96, and it's like, you know, inside, and I, I hit it at somebody like an idiot. Why did you hit that why ball into a double play? Like, how dare you? Why did you <laughs> not throw that strike? Why did you let him hit that home run? You know what? You should look before you're at you bat to see where they're playing. The field. Yeah. I don't know, man. Y'all are saying some pretty smart stuff here. People but don't talk I, about it enough. I don't know. I, I, things to consider. I'll have to look. I'm on Wikipedia baseball real quick and see <laughs> if, uh, if what y'all are saying is true. Um, <laughs> thank y'all for hanging out today. Good luck to you, uh, Ryan Parker and DB. And uh, looking forward to some wins this week. And uh, good luck, gentlemen. Yes, Thanks, sir. Appreciate well, thank it. you, sir. All right.